Hey, welcome to welcome to AX2. We're back in the studio. We're got to talk about some things. Some of them are very controversial, some of them less so. And we're going to start with the biggest one, which is Roe versus Wade is overturned. Yeah, you didn't hear it first here, but you heard it here. Roe versus Wade is overturned. And that's a big one. That's 50 years of rights for for half the country, probably, of women's rights, a step towards equality, being in charge of your ability to control reproduction. I'm a father of four children, two are girls. I was raised by a very strong, professional, educated woman, an army wife, a college graduate, a master's in, in business administration, and I've worked for some incredibly powerful and brilliant women. Judge Elizabeth Ray, Judge Barbara Hervey, and many others. And this is one that I think has really got all of us thinking, thinking about how we how we prioritize what's going to happen next, what's going to happen with our tax dollars, and all of the changes that are bound to happen from this Supreme Court opinion. And there's a sign that hangs in every single office that's on my phone, and it's called Don't Give Up the Ship, and it comes from the War of 1812. The original battle flag hangs in the Navy War College. And I would say this to those of you who are concerned about the political turmoil, the political situation, that I don't care where you fall, what aisle, what issue, I'm just saying, remember Americans that we are in the search and the pursuit of a more perfect union, not a perfect union, a more perfect union. And we cannot give up the ship. We must continue to love each other, to lift each other, and to find ways to overcome these challenges and turn them into opportunities. I'm gonna dive into what the opinion actually said in the next segment, but I'm gonna start with that because I think it's absolutely critical.